Rivaldi Browser is something I bumped into while looking at this beautiful website. Amazed by its amazingness at making sure my data is not being sold at an auction, I decided to download it. Interestingly, the first result that came up when searching it was Opera GX. Nice. But I immediately noticed this wasn't any of that neon rainbow colored crap. It felt like ascending into browser heaven. And boy did I notice that when I booted it up. After getting flashbanged, not once but twice, my sleep deprived and disoriented self decided to look for the settings as I noticed old habits kicking in. After having had my get a load of this guy moment, I had subsequently decided that exploring Vivaldi would be a thing for the next day as I went to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I booted up Vivaldi with a lot of expectations considering their claims on their website and especially this thing. I was really eager to see how far we can take the customization, not only limited to looks but keyboard shortcuts, which is something I got into recently thanks to Premiere Pro. I wanted to really see the extremes of this, which in my opinion is very limited on Chrome and boom, we're in. So the first thing I want to do is to find the settings to avoid any other nighttime incidents. Is this it? Mm. This is quick settings, no dark mode here, but I already see some very nice customizations options already. There we go, dark mode. Peace at last, force dark theme on all websites. Hmm. Let's stick it. So not much has changed here in the homepage, but let's try and make a search. And boop. Wait, that stays white? I probably missed something. Oh my, that is horrendous. Mm, there we go. That is much better. I see that you can make your own stuff here. Okay, I don't understand anything here. So before I make you laugh, let's go off. So far it's been 5 minutes and I've already seen more customization options than what I've seen on Chrome for years. Talking of Chrome, let's see the consumption charts. Well, well, well. I mean, I do have a window open on Chrome, but come on. Okay, this stuff is addicting. It's making me create an account. Oh, come on now. Okay, we're in. Click the VPN button to connect. Whoa, I completely forgot this was a feature. Do I have all of these countries for free? And of course, it breaks my heart right when I spend 15 minutes trying to choose the country. So, I tried looking for a cool background and um... Yeah, yeah, that's where we are now. I feel like that I am being fed a lie here. So let's add a bit of spice. Let's speed run from this to that. So I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I don't get why this page for me is empty. I mean, how do I do things? All right, my brain is overheating. How does he get that to come down? So it's been 15 minutes of me looking around and I haven't progressed much apart from discovering that this is the page I need to be on. Okay, I certainly do not live in port au prince okay, So let's remove this and let's change this to something more fitting. Hmm, yeah. Perfect. Oh, we have ample choice here. Why am I adding mail when I don't get any? So let's add a currency conversion. Why not? Just in case. By the way, if you haven't noticed, you are all invited. Notice it will end at 9.59 so we don't go past my bedtime and probably your bedtime too. So let's add a few tasks as well. Okay, so it's looking a lot busier here. Now we need the colours. So I've been browsing themes for a bit. None really caught my eye apart from this one. It's looking at me with intent. Well, I can explain. So we have got the main page sorted, but I'm nowhere near this. How does he get so much stuff? Oh, I am stupid. That's not his home page. He's on a website all of this time just for it to not even be on the home page. Okay, I want my time back now. I think this is the best we can do on the home page. Why are the tabs on the right? How do I do that? Hmm. Okay, so where do I want my tabs? There's so many settings here. This is as big as all of the Chrome settings. I didn't think browsing through settings could ever be that fun. Okay, so tabs. Do I really need this? Well, left it is then. Now that I look at it, it's not so bad, but I still don't understand the purpose. Okay. I kind of see it now. With vertical tabs, you get more screen at the top, which is apparently more important than having a screen horizontally. Let's put that to the test. Ooh, changes color. No, it doesn't. I would like that to be red, to be honest. GTA 6 got delayed again, by the way. So the left side tabs actually look all right here. Well, I'm not sure about the horizontal tabs as they just don't scratch my brain like the left side tabs do. Okay, bottom just looks cursed and right is just too far. Is it just me or looking right on the screen just feels uncomfortable sometimes? Like staring left, is so much easier. Okay, I could be onto something. Bro is on something. Okay, these tabs make switching workplaces so much easier too. I mean, I don't have workplaces because I don't work. But let's say you are doing some shady business, which you obviously do not want your boss to see. Just know that you can just... But there is one thing that determines whether I like workspaces or not. It's whether the search history is combined or not. There seems to be nothing about this in the settings. Okay, this is so not useful. Give feedback, preferably in English. You know what? God bless who made ChatGPT and God not bless who thought of this. Why? Especially since I make videos, having a completely free search history is such a game changer. Because I'm sure you do not want to see my search history. Anyways, I tried tab tiling earlier when I still hadn't switched to vertical tabs and they seemed fine, but I was not sure whether to include this section in this video.
Well, that's one thing that would be my search history. No comments. But I thought tab tiling was sick, but now that it's all gone vertical, I would be lying to you by saying that I do not have any doubt about how efficient this will be. Okay, so this is tight, but I can obviously expand this, which does make my actual screen smaller. However, by making this smaller, so it's only the icons, I can make that smaller, so it's back to normal. But if you compare this to this, well, a lot can be said. But after all, I do feel it makes a massive difference when I'm working. My Chrome can look as bad as this, so I do feel that Vivaldi is a big step forward. I know that this does not look very efficient, and I agree, but this was more of a speedrun through all the features it has on offer. You have to keep in mind that this was the first time trying a browser that is not chrome or edge for me but there is one thing keeping me on chrome and that is its simplicity which can be its own flaw but it's straightforward and extensions i love extensions and i've already made a video about them but the real question is will vivaldi pass the extension tests extensions available on chrome web store can be used on vivaldi what i thought they would have their own extensions i always stuck to chrome because of extensions and only now i figured this out so this is vivaldi this was more of a setup experience so i might make a video on it after having used it a little more and polished it to myself so i can give you the ultimate vivaldi browser experience but there is one last thing i forgot to mention no there isn't